uh, service that we would look at is is what's called what's called the data engine. Now uh, the data engine is is used if we're working with an extract. Perhaps we're creating that extract, uh, we're refreshing that extract from source data, uh, or we're querying an extract. Uh, now, when we talk about extracts, we're actually talking about Tableau's internal data storage engine, um, which uh, since since version 10.5 is, is referred to as Hyper. Um, so Hyper is a, a highly performant in-memory database that Tableau maintains internally. Um, and if your database that, that you're maintaining uh, perhaps doesn't have the right performance characteristics uh, to deliver queries um, at the right, right speed for your users, um, then you have the ability of actually using um, using the, the data engine to, to supplement this, using a hyper extracts to, to supplement that. Now, this is the point where I, I initially, when I was uh, when I was looking into this several years ago, found it quite confusing, the difference between the data engine and the data server, um, and really what those two did. So I'm gonna go through a few examples here of, of different use case scenarios that you might use to, to feed data into Tableau. Uh, and and what those what those use cases actually mean for the whether you're using the data engine, whether you're using the data server, and what, or whether you're using both. Uh, so what we actually have here is a a very simple use case where we have a, a workbook. Uh, that workbook contains a, an embedded data source. So the data source itself is is only contained in the workbook, and that is connecting to a, a database. Uh, so this is a database that is outside of the uh, the boundary of Tableau Server. So this could be a MySQL database or a Postgres database, um, whatever whatever technology you're you're looking at there. Now in this case, uh, we're not using the data engine or the data server. Uh, we're not using the data engine because we're not using an extract, um, and we're not using the data server because we're not using a, a published data source. Now uh, the next scenario is that we're actually using a published data source. Um, but that published data source is still maintaining a, a, a live connection to your database. So in this case, when I'm actually accessing the workbook on Tableau server, uh, Tableau is querying the data source, which is uh, held in the data server. And the data source then queries, queries your source database. So a, a good use case for this would be is say perhaps that uh, you have a single data source that you want to have some common definitions and you want to share that across multiple workbooks, but you only want to maintain that once. Actually, in this in this example here, we only have a single workbook, but this could be three, four, five, or even, even 50 workbooks uh, that all get this single data source. But in this case, the data source that we've we've published is, is using a live data source. So this, this doesn't maintain an extract of the data from the database. So again, when the user views the workbook, Tableau is going to be querying the database directly, and that's going to be bringing in uh, bringing in uh, live data. Now, the uh, the third example is is where we have an embedded data source. So the data source itself is contained in the workbook again. There is no there's no published data source. But the data source is actually maintained as an extract. So when I'm viewing the workbook. Rather than Tableau going away to the data, database and saying, what is the sum of sales for yesterday? What's actually happening is, is Tableau server on a, on a recent schedule, or sorry, a regular schedule, is extracting information from the database. It's loading it into the extract uh, that, is, uh, that is contained uh, within the workbook. So when the user opens the workbook, Tableau is actually querying the extract um, rather than querying the database. Now this has this has several benefits. Generally, um, unless you have an extremely performant, um, perfectly designed data warehouse, um, this will always give you a, a faster experience for your end users. Um, it also helps take some of the load off your database. So perhaps your database uh, could could be used for some operational purposes. Uh, it might have limited hardware. Um, it might be used by a legacy reporting application, and it really can't support the volume of traffic that you might be expected to send uh, to it from Tableau. Uh, so having this having this extract um, is, is, is the best way of improving performance. Now again, this as I said, this, this particular model uses the data engine, um, whereas the previous uh, example that we looked at used the data server. Now finally, what we have is, is the fourth option where we have uh, the use of both the data engine and the data server. So in this case, 
uh, we have uh, a database and a data source. Now, the data source actually contains an extract. So this is a published data source that is, is powered by an extract. So again, much as we saw with the, um, the previous example with the embedded extract data source, what Tableau Server is doing here is on a regular schedule, it's pulling information from the database, it's loading it into that extract, um, which is part of the data source. And then when a workbook uh, looks at the data source, the data source is, is serving it from the extract using the, uh, using the data engine. Now this, this kind of gives us the best of both worlds with, with the first approach. Um, the challenge with the embedded extract data sources is that because an extract is effectively a copy of the data in the database, if you have, a, if you have workbooks that each contain their own extract, what you could potentially find is that the storage requirements of those extracts become quite large quite quickly. Um, so with this option here, we're actually only storing the extract once, and we could potentially have multiple workbooks, uh, which, con which all referenced the same data source, which all referenced the same extract. It might sometimes be advantageous to use the previous approach where we just have an extract in a workbook, perhaps if, if that data source is quite small or it's for a very niche purpose uh, where we're not wanting to uh, not wanting to reuse it too much. But this is the this is the easiest way of thinking of okay, what's the what's the data server and what's the data engine? So the data engine handles extracts and the data server handles published data sources. <laughs> 